Motion Introduction We often perceive an object to be in motion when its position changes with time. However, there are situations where the motion is inferred through indirect evidences. An object may appear to be moving for one person and stationary for some others. Most motions are complex. Some objects may move in a straight line, others may take a circular path. Some may rotate and a few others may vibrate. There may be situations involving a combination of these. Uniform motion. Consider an object moving along a straight line. Let it travel 5 meters in the first second, 5 meters more in the second second, 5 meters in the third second and 5 meters in the fourth second. In this case, the object covers 5 meters in each second. As the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, it is said to be in uniform motion. The time interval in this motion should be small. Non-uniform motion. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across motions where they cover unequal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, when a car is moving on a crowded street or a person is jogging in a park. These are some instances of non-uniform motion. Speed with direction. When the velocity of the object changes at a uniform rate, then average velocity is given by the arithmetic mean of initial velocity and final velocity for a given period of time. That is, average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. Mathematically, V average is equal to U plus V by 2, where V average is the average velocity. U is the initial velocity and V is the final velocity of the object. Speed and velocity have the same units, that is, m, s to the power of minus 1 or m by s. Distance Time graphs The change in the position of an object with time can be represented on the distance time graph adopting a convenient scale of choice. In this graph, time is taken along the x-axis and distance is taken along the y-axis. Distance time graphs can be employed under various conditions where objects move with uniform speed, non-uniform speed, remain at rest, etc. Velocity time graphs. In this graph, time is represented along the x-axis and the velocity is represented along the y-axis. If the object moves at uniform velocity, the height of its velocity time graph will not change with time. It will be a straight line parallel to the x-axis. Equations of motion. Equations of motion are V is equal to U plus AT. First, S is equal to UT plus half of AT squared. Second, 2AS is equal to V squared minus U squared. Third, where U is the initial velocity of the object which moves with uniform acceleration A for time T. V is the final velocity and S is the distance travelled by the object in time T. Equation 1 describes the velocity time relation and equation 2 represents the position time relation. Equation 3 represents the relation between the position and the velocity that can be obtained from equation 1 and equation 2 by eliminating T. These three equations can be derived by graphical method. Solved problem. A train starting from rest attains a velocity of 72 kilometers h minus 1 in 5 minutes. Assuming that the acceleration is uniform, find first the acceleration and second the distance travelled by the train for attaining this velocity. Solution. We have been given u is equal to 0, v is equal to 72 kilometers h minus 1 is equal to 20 ms minus 1 and t is equal to 5 minutes is equal to 300 s. From equation, we know that a is equal to v minus u by t is equal to 
20 m s to the power of minus 1 minus 0 m s to the power of minus 1 divided by 300 s is equal to 1 by 15 m s to the power of minus 2. From equation, we have 2 a s is equal to v squared minus u squared is equal to v squared minus 0. Thus, s is equal to v squared by 2 a is equal to 20 m s to the power of minus 1 the whole squared divided by 2 into 1 by 15 the whole m s to the power of minus 2 is equal to 3000 meters is equal to 3 kilometers. The acceleration of the train is 1 by 15 m s to the power of minus 2 and the distance travelled is 3 kilometers. The brakes applied to a car produce an acceleration of 6 m s to the power of minus 2 in the opposite direction to the motion. If the car takes 2 seconds to stop after the application of brakes, calculate the distance it travels during this time. Solution. We have been given a is equal to minus 6 m s to the power of minus 2, t is equal to 2 seconds and v is equal to 0 m s to the power of minus 1. From equation, we know that v is equal to u plus a t. O is equal to u plus minus 6 m s to the power of minus 2 the whole into 2 seconds or u is equal to 12 m s to the power of minus 1. From equation, we get s is equal to u t plus 1 by 2 a t squared is equal to 12 m s to the power of minus 1 the whole into 2 seconds the whole plus 1 by 2 into minus 6 m s to the power of minus 2 the whole into 2 seconds the whole to the power of minus 2 is equal to 24 m minus 12 m is equal to 12 m. Thus, the car will move 12 meters before it stops after the application of brake. Uniform Circular Motion When an object moves in a circular path with uniform speed, its motion is called uniform circular motion. Take a piece of thread and tie a small piece of stone at one of its ends. Move the stone to describe a circular path with constant speed by holding the thread at the other end. Now, let the stone go by releasing the thread. By repeating the activity for a few times and releasing the stone at different positions of the circular path, check whether the direction in which the stone moves remains the same or not. If you carefully note, on being released, the stone moves along a straight line tangential to the circular path. This is because, once the stone is released, it continues to move along the direction it has been moving at that instant. This shows that the direction of motion changed at every point when the stone was moving along the circular path.